So now I am ready to start cleaning the jacks of this loom. Remember, it was built in 1942, so there is an awful lot of rust and tarnish uh, and, and a lot of grime basically left on these jacks. In order to make the loom move more smoothly, um, I'm gonna clean up all of this gross and grime and we'll, uh, we'll use more uh, which I, my boyfriend recommended this to me. It's it really actually does get rid of of all of these things um, It's good for stainless steel and porcelain and ceramic as well as copper brass glass chrome uh, tile even so Decided to try it for this and it is working amazingly so far just remember put your gloves on if you can, open a window because these fumes can really be a little overwhelming if you use them for too long, okay? So, this is uh, an uncleaned side. Already got that side cleaned, so that's pretty nice. This side is not cleaned, so here we go. You take your more and you spray it. You let it sit for a little bit, not too long. Uh, just enough so that it can penetrate. I'm just spreading it around a little bit so that it can penetrate more. I'm going to use a toothbrush. Using this toothbrush in a circular motion, not too much pressure, about as much as what you would use to, to brush your own teeth actually. Make sure to get the ends just like you would get your gums. Circular motion so that you can get in to each of the little pits and crevices that have been created from the corrosion over the years. Remember, 1942, that's a long time for it to sit and corrode. All right, getting into the corners there. Across the top, making sure to get all of the edges. You want to make sure that the collars are clean as well because there's a piece that goes right on through there and the jacks actually move up and down accordingly on that piece. So you want to make sure that those are, are nice and cleaned as well. Again, circular motion, getting all of the edges, the nooks and the crannies, the pits, You'll probably want to do this a couple of times. Take your cloth, and you wipe it down, and you can see already we've gotten quite a bit of that ugly rust and corrosion off of there. Both sides. So I'm going to spray this again. We're going to do this again. And I'm going to spread it out with my, my gloved hands. Do not use your bare hands for this. If this is cleaning up all of the tarnish, can you imagine what it's going to do to your skin? Probably not pretty. I don't think it's going to kill you. I don't think it's going to eat away your skin, but it's certainly not going to make you feel very good. Okay. And again, get my, get my light back up here. Again, I'm going to use circular motion and get even more of this tarnish off. Notice how I'm getting the edges as well. Don't neglect the edges. Don't forget to floss.
Okay, and then you wipe it off again. Look at that! Look how pretty that is! Got two sides, absolutely beautiful. And here, as a comparison, there's another one that, that needs to be done. I mean, huge, huge difference. Put that back there. Nice and shiny versus old and gross. All right? So remember, this is a 10 harness loom, which means that there are 10 on each side that need to be done. These are the jacks. And guess what? There's still the lambs that have to be done as well. So this is going to be a long process, but trust me, it's worth it.